today I'm going to look at the freehand embroidery tools and they are situated here on your toolbar so you have the freehand open object and the freehand closed object tools. When you select the freehand tools you'll notice a new um, toolbar up here open up so um, it's the same for both the open and the closed object. The smoothing allows you to smooth the line you're going to create and you'll understand what I mean when um, I do it or you can you can have less smoothing or more smoothing. The other two options here are to change the tool. Now you'll notice my, uh, my um, cursor has changed to a target type um, icon there with a cross here in the middle. I'll just move it over here away from the hoop so you can see it clearly. Now you can change the look of that if you wish. So depending on what you want, the first option um, box here allows you to make that smaller cross, cross here in the middle smaller. Well the whole thing smaller really. So now you can see I've got a much smaller um, icon to move around as a cursor. And the second option allows you to choose how many circles you have around that to attract your attention to it. So depending on how busy your design is, you may need some more circles around there so you can find your actual cursor sometimes. But if you've got a fairly plain open design, you won't need so many. It's really what's going to suit you, what's going to work for you. The point at which the line or outline is going to be created is the center of that crosshair. So sort it. I'm going to make it a bit bigger so that you can see what I'm doing as I do this tutorial and I'm going to make I'm going to leave it at two circles but just to show you what one circle will bring it back to this and you can go up to three four five if you want to <laughs> it's really up to you I'm going to go back to two the default it seems to work for me okay now you can select your tools and so we can have the freehand open object which is just a line and you can choose any of your outlines here so you can have a pattern run you can have single triple back stitch whatever you like um, let's just look at the single for the moment and you'll see down the bottom here that it says click for line segments click and drag for curve segments so if you want a straight sided part of your line you would click and then move to the next point and left click again. I'm actually using a pen tablet so I'm not sure if you're getting the red and green left and right clicks here on your screen at the moment because I don't see them when I'm creating um, but I'm a, this would be the same as left clicking with your mouse. If you have a pen tablet it works really well with these freehand tools so that would be how you would create a left click and if you look I've got it on artistic view I'm sure if we zoom into that in a minute you'll be able to see that the stitches are being created immediately I don't have to enter but the beauty of this is if I want to create a curved line I just need to drag my or um, yes click and drag and I will get a curved segment immediately when I finish the curved segment or the straight line segment all I need to do is press my enter button and I'll just zoom in there for you so that you can actually see that the stitches are created straight away. So instead of having to right click and and put a point at every point on your curve you can just draw. Let's zoom back out again one to one and let's select the object and let's go to the reshape tool and you'll see that I've got my individual clicks for my straight lines here which is quick when you're doing straight lines you only want to click at the end of each straight line when I've drawn my curve I've got a lot of nodes there the other thing you might notice as well as having a lot of nodes I've got some square nodes and the line itself if I go back to the select tool is a little bit bumpy now I could I could go in and move all those um, nodes till I got a nice smooth line but if I want a nice smooth line if I'm not looking for this bumpy sort of look then it is easier when I create my arc to actually use the smoothing tool so 
this is where I had it when I I had it low down here at about 16% when I drew this one. Now I'm going to move it up here to, well let's go to 100%. And we've got our tool select again. I've got chosen a different colour now so just to show you the difference. And I'm going to draw a smooth, whoops! <laughs> I'm going to escape from that and show all again and back one to one. I got a bit carried away there. I'm left clicking and dragging down there and you'll see when I enter that that is much smoother line and if I select it and go to the reshape tool you can see that the nodes are much further apart and I haven't got any square nodes at all so that's how you make sure you've got a nice smooth object and you can have it anywhere in between it's up to you if you've got to do a lot of little ins and outs and changing from um, straight lines to curves you might not want it to smooth so much you might want more nodes where you can um, readjust but where you want long sweeping curves uh, the smoother option is the best okay let's undo those and get our hoop back in the center so that's not confusing us and let's look at the closed object freehand tool so now I've got the closed object I can just draw a line and hit my enter button and I've got a closed outline I can select this or I could have chosen beforehand to actually have a fill stitch in that shape so let's select it and change it to a fill stitch and I've changed it to the stipple run you can have any of the fill stitches in your closed object freehand just the same as if you were using your closed object digitizing tool here that's not freehand so let's just change it back to the step fill so you can have a closed object with your free hand. Let's undo that one and undo. Right, now let's create a closed object with our step fill, but a lot smaller. I'm just going to create a little petal here. And enter. Okay, and I'm going to apply the wave fill to that. So I'm going to go select it. And I'm going to go down here because we no longer have to go through our object properties to, to apply the wave fill. If I zoom in so you can see, it's applied the wave fill immediately. Okay, I want to just change that, so the arc on that. So I'm going to go to my reshape tool and put my arc going, whoops, going the length of the petal and enter. Now the next thing I'm going to do is put a bit of shading on this. So I'm going to choose a darker colour. And so I'm just going to use my um, freehand single run. You'll notice my icon is now really big because I'm zoomed in. It, it um, changes size. You need to practice with your pad and just get a little bit more used to it. Just make them different lengths. And so this would just be a running stitch of a darker colour, which will just give you a bit more interest on the petal, a little bit of shading. And enter. Okay, so now I've got that. Let's go back to one to one. And let's um, select um, both of them and group them. Group. And now let's go to the wreath tool and I've got five there so let's just bring five in and there we have a beautiful little flower and let's put a center in there with a circle and remove overlaps so we need to select that circle and remove our overlaps okay there's our little flower, all done with our, well, a lot of it done with our freehand. Very quick and easy to use.